Welcome back to Chipmunk Crafting Corner. I know it's been a while. I've been really sick and it took months for me to feel better. But we're back now and I'm ready to keep going with our videos to help everyone make things at home for their babies, their children, their home. Anything that I can think of to put on here that would help. One of the first things I want to talk about today is this little sewing machine. It was about $40 and I got one for myself and one for my daughter. And I'm going to start showing you how to make things on this little sewing machine. You can put batteries in it. It'll go anywhere. And I'm not advertising any particular brand. Um, I know that they had them in Aldi. I got this in Walmart. Um, a lot of places have this little portable sewing machine. I also want to make sure that it's easy for you to find the free patterns that I use off the internet. And so I've started writing it down and you could probably take a picture of that if you want to remember. These are free bib patterns. And I'll say them out loud. SimplySmallWonders.com AppleGreenCottage.com Mary Martha mama.com that's where I got my patterns that I'm using today I'm finishing up my baby things that I've been making out of this one quilt this quilt set that I got at walmart.com and it's got little animals on it woodland animals on it and it's been a lot of fun and I made about two hundred and fifty dollars worth of baby things for about the cost of $50. The last two things I'm going to finish up is I'm making a pillow 18 inches by 12 inches out of my little woodland quilt to go with the baby bed that I made. And I also am making a stack of bibs. And I've got some other ideas for bibs too that we'll get into. But here's one that I finished made out of the quilt material and it is so soft and all I did was zigzag the edge of it after I cut it out and look both sides are already finished the first thing I'm going to do is sew up my little pillow and I can show you that this is two layers thick of quilt fabric and this little machine is taking care of it really well and as you can see it works pretty good For new sewers, I, I love it that it's got a slow speed and a high speed. My daughter particularly does not like electric sewing machines, so she usually uses our treadle machine. But I did get her one of these for Christmas, and she said she would give it a go on the low speed. So here we go. So let me finish this up and then we'll turn it inside out and stuff it. I've got my pillow sewed all the way around. I rounded the corners a little bit and I left about a five inch opening here so I can stuff it after I turn it inside out. Now I'm going to take the scissors and I'm going to curve off the corners a little bit. Try not to cut the the seam. There. Cut the corners. I just think round corners are easier to deal with. And now I'm going to turn it inside out. Okay, I've got my pillow stuffed up and it's all ready to hand stitch the end. And we'll, we'll have other videos that I'll show hand stitching but my opening is right here and you just stitch it up with a sewing needle and whatever color to match your pillow and then it's all finished and in the end of this video I'll show you how it looks with our baby bed 
Next, I want to show you something that's really helpful when you're drawing out patterns. I made myself a one inch grid with a little ruler and this way you can copy and draw your own patterns just by looking at the picture or take a snapshot of this and then you can follow the lines on the grid and draw it in for yourself and it's actually just half the pattern and then when you get done drawing the line then you just fold it in half like this and cut it out let's see if I can do this quick And there I have the whole pattern and this is one that I drew out myself I've got about three different sizes of bibs here's one and here's a little one here's one of my favorite kind of bibs it's the bandana bib and I Printed off the pattern off of simplysmallwonders.com. I think, yeah, that's on my list. Only I cut it out of a, a baby mesh fabric. And I made four layers of it. Now I think what I'm going to do with this, I've got four layers, and I think what I'm going to do is zigzag the edge. And I won't have to turn anything in or inside or out. I'm just going to zigzag the edge all the way around on my little sewing machine. I've got my little bandana bib all finished with zigzag. I went over three times around the edge. I didn't have to turn anything inside out. And to fasten it, I put little Velcro dots and we're all ready to go. And this is the softest cotton. I got this fabric at Hobby Lobby and I keep track of the sales. So one week they'll have fabric 40% off and then the next week they'll have yarn 30% off. I think this week is yarn, I think next week is fabric you'll have to check your sales and there's also other places that sell fabric anywhere that sells fabric you can probably find this mesh baby fabric but it sure makes a lot of nice things we never waste anything here and I had some scraps left over for making the bandana bib so I cut out a little square and I've got four layers here, and I'm going to zigzag the edge and make a little washcloth for my baby. And you'll probably want to put three times around with the zigzag. I absolutely love this little machine. And just watch how it goes through four layers of fabric. And there we go. There's our little washcloth. And it is so soft even before it's wet. One yard of this fabric and you would be able to make a stack of washcloths, a stack of these little drool bibs, and your baby would be so soft in these. 
one more way to fi finish a bib is to get some nice cotton twill tape and you can get this in any store that sells fabric it's very very soft it's pure cotton and I use it to do the edge on some things and you can use it for ties you could you could actually use it as a bib tie in the back but it's very very soft so let's see how this looks when I sew it on I'm all done getting the edge around my bib the last thing to do is put something on it to fasten it and I'm gonna put this little velcro dot And there we go. We're all finished with our little bib. And I would tell you that the little Velcro dots that you could get, take a thread and needle and fasten it on with some thread too so that it stays on. The sticky, sticky stuff is really, really good. And as you can see, I'm putting it on and off without it. But after it's washed a couple of times, I'm not sure. So just put a few stitches in there to hold it. But it works great. Very cute. I've got my baby bed all done, and I've got my pillow all ready to go. And this turned out really nice. And I made mine bigger than a regular baby nest to give the baby room to grow. And here's my nursing pillow from another video. I absolutely love this woodland print. And you can still get this at walmart.com or just go in the store and see what kind of quilt sets they have. And uh, we've also got a stack of baby bibs. And I don't, I got them all over the house, but I've got a stack of baby quilts and changing pads and everything that I made with that one set of quilt. Thank you everyone for watching and thank you for all the likes and subscribers and I hope that we get a lot more subscribers. I would feel a lot better if we did and I really have a lot more projects to do and um, I don't know if anybody remembers the loops on a loom to make pot holders from the old days. Um, I know how to make those loops now, so if you have any old socks that you're done with that are cotton, save those. I'm going to show you how to recycle them into pot holders. And I think we're going to be doing some embroidery. In fact, I know we're going to be doing some embroidery. I've got some new patterns and things I want to try. And if anybody has an idea or something that you want to learn how to do, this is the place to ask for it because I've got 20 years experience in home economics and working with kids and making for my own kids. And I did have twins, so I know about that. Two of everything. And I just hope that it helps everyone to save some money and to have nice things for your baby. I'm also going to be working on things for older babies and young kids. Um, I've got all kinds of ideas and I can't wait to get started on them. So please, please, please like and subscribe and send us some notes and tell us how everyone is doing and hopefully someday we'll get to have some giveaways that we could give away because I don't usually keep everything I make on the videos. I, I give them all away and I would love to be able to send some out. So thank you for everything and please let us know how you're doing and I'm also talking to dads as well as moms. So everybody can craft and sew and uh, my daughter is a culinary graduate and she loves to share recipes and different things too. So we've got a lot going on. So thank you so much and see you next time.